hangs by some of our parliamentarians. It is to be noted that Jamaican law enforcement officers or agencies have never preferred criminal charges against any politician, save and except for criminal corruption. But over the years, the anecdotal evidence has been alluding to the criminal connection to many in the political hierarchy and what some call their foot soldiers, criminal gangs, or gangsters. Allegations, there have been a plenty, but hard evidence, resulting in arrest and conviction, is yet to be unearthed by our police. And so the chatter continues and the murder rate continues to climb, resulting in an increasingly unstable society. To assess the pulse of the nation, an informal questionnaire was conducted to rate our most feared politicians based on the perception of the people. It's alleged. These are the 10 most feared politicians, 10. Oliva Babsy Grange. Curiously, Minister Grange is the only female on this list, and her making the list raised a few eyebrows in some quarters, but a nod and a wink in others. The Minister of Culture, Sports and Gender Affairs is regarded by Jamaicans as a seriously partisan politician, who is to be feared as they see her as being willing to employ violence to achieve her political ends. And with reported ties to the One Order Gang, she is regarded as a well-connected heavyweight when it comes to her ability to act as a lightning rod. 9. Mike Henry, MP. Mike Henry is not only feared, he is considered dangerous, as many cite his creation of a garrison constituency in Clarendon as evidence of his supposed patronage of political violence. Many now say, what was an experiment that led to the creation of Central Clarendon has become such a successful enterprise that Central Clarendon has been exporting its strong-arm tactics to other constituencies, and this has contributed to the wide-scale violence now enveloping the country. 8. Everald Warmington Many of his very own supporters describe him as deceptively dangerous when asked why few are willing to discuss it or provide details. However, those who are brave enough to speak offer, in defense of their position, what they say as the hidden fact that Warmy has quietly made his constituency into a JLP garrison, whilst commentators fail to recognize this simple truth when discussing garrisons. And to qualify their claim, they point to the elimination of a well-known JLP activist, whom they say was executed in a church because he got off message and posed a risk to Warmy. 7. Desmond Mackenzie As Member of Parliament for the notorious constituency of West Kingston, with its internationally reputed criminal gangs, the most notorious being the Showa Posse, Desmond Mackenzie, whilst not featured as a major player in the criminal underworld, is considered a contender because of his supposed access to the gangs operating within his political geographical sphere of influence. 6. Dr. Nigel Clark has been dubbed the sleeping giant of the JLP political army. Many say Nigel Clark sits atop of an army of political thugs he inherited from former long-serving MP Derek Smith. They say that Dr. Clark might not be aware of his own strength as he has the army to roll out if and when he decides to seriously challenge the leadership of the JLP. Some observers say, unlike some colleague MPs and or ministers, Dr. Clark seems not yet sensitized to his army, but if and when he is ready to challenge for the JLP leadership, the army of gangs he inherited will be his best ticket to succeed Andrew Holness, as it was the absence of soldiers, why Audley Shaw lost to Andrew Holness in the war to succeed Bruce Golding. 5. Opposition Senator Peter Bunting comes in as a surprise as those who know him best, or claim to, say he has not displayed the political stomach for the down and dirty that would see him aligning with the political heavies, but that is strength, lies in the fact that he is a shrewd tactician who plays the long game. His detractors, however, sing an entirely different tune. They say, whilst he does not cavort with known gangsters and hoodlums, he draws his support from rogue policemen and women whom he cultivated while serving as Minister of National Security, and this makes him far more dangerous as an opponent than is widely believed of Prime Minister Andrew Holness on this list was a complete surprise, as he, regarded by most as a gentlemanly father figure, who is the patrician of what was once a fractioned and fractious party, to be seen as anything but a healing figure, startled many. The supposition of the possibility of him being one consorting with criminals is beyond absurd, and so not worthy of exploration. That said, however, 
the PM came in on the list of those to be feared. 3. James Robertson, the Western St. Thomas MP, is a man feared by his opponents and colleagues on both aisles of the House. The Ivy League-educated businessman is said to have connections to the political underworld, which has aroused the interest of both the U.S. State Department and British MI5. Because of his alleged ties to the political strongmen of the JLP, it is rumored he represents a serious threat to the leadership of Andrew Holness, and detractors go further to say that any future leader of the party who wants to realize those ambitions can only do so with Robertson's blessings. As the most senior deputy leader of the JLP, it is said that Robertson has no higher political ambition and so does not pose a direct threat to the ambitions of others as he will not seek higher office. They say, however, that he enjoys his role as a kingmaker and that is a role he revels in and has Trump's equivalent of Proud Boys, only a call away. 2. Daryl Vaz Described as the political cat with nine lives, Daryl Vaz has created a reputation for getting things done, in government. From his early days in the Bruce Golding cabinet, Golding said of Vaz that he was a minister who got things done. Some say it's because he knows how the system works, and because of his many years of building relationships with the cogs who make the system run. Others say it's because of his bullying tactics, backed by his extra-parliamentary connections. Dogged by allegations of his supposed involvement in the death of schoolgirl Deanne Thomas back in the 1980s, with other skirmishes with the law, Vaz is seen as a Teflon Don, even though he has no known connections to organized gangs and or crime bosses. 1. Dr. Horace Chang some say of the mild-mannered, soft-spoken medical doctor that if the JLP is a criminal organization, as some have argued, then those who advance that argument say of the St. James Member of Parliament that he is the party's enforcer, and points to the WikiLeaks release some years ago, linking him to the Stonecrusher gang, say it was more than just idle chatter born out of political mischief, but was more of calling a stone what it is based on information compiled and disseminated by the U.S. spying and law enforcement agencies. Sources, images, and profiles.